started doing juggling stuff like two and a half years ago, or three years ago now, I guess. Um, and uh, Diablo's juggling balls, things like that. Um, and then a friend has been yo-yoing for like ever. I know, I know him, and uh, he was like, hey, yo-yos. And I was like, hmm, yo-yos, that looks easy. And so I tried it, it wasn't easy. Well, uh, in around third grade, there was this guy who called himself Dan the Yo-Yo Man. So uh, he came to my school and he was a professional yo-yoist. Uh, he started doing tricks like Ultimate UFO where he made the entire strings like spin around it and it literally looked like a UFO. He was telling the story about his uh, alien friend that couldn't make it. And then I just kind of got mesmerized by him. Then afterwards my sister bought a yo-yo from him. Then I kind of stole it from her. Easy. Um, but, you know, I just kind of stuck to it and it kind of stuck. It's a lot easier to put in your pocket or like big juggling balls or clubs or so. Um, so 1A is just your basic, you know, put it on your finger, goes up and down, does string tricks, you know, does all that basic stuff. Um, 2A is with two yo-yos, one on each hand. And, uh, and you do looping tricks, so they're always going out. Um, and they ne you never catch them in your hand, they come right about here, and you just use the momentum to regenerate the spin on the yo-yo. And you use two of them to do crazy things around your body, and under your legs, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, um, the third one is, if you ask me, the most complicated, because you have two non-responsive yo-yos, and you're landing them on the opposite one string, and tangling up the strings just to get them to spin around each other. It's really complicated. Um, um, 4A is when you have the yo-yo and the string detached from each other. So you just kind of throw up the yo-yo and then catch it on the string and then you kind of bounce it around on it. Um, Something like that. And then yeah. counterweight is my personal favorite division. Um, there's a weight at the end of your yo-yo string, so your hand's not actually attached to the yo-yo, but the string is attached to the yo-yo. So you throw it, and you can do uh, tricks where you can spin the weight at the same time as doing a trick around the yo-yo, where you let go of it, or it just makes for a very different, interesting play. Um, yo-yo community is based a lot around the internet, because um, we don't all you know sit in one place all the time. I mean, there's seven or eight people that yo-yo seriously in all of San Diego County. My cousin is a professional yo-yoist, and he's been sponsored. Um, his name is Isaac, and he has his own YouTube videos. I just kind of go on and off with yo-yoing, but whenever I see Isaac, it's automatically back on for a while. Um, but. Um, I can talk to a guy in Chicago or New York or Florida about, hey, I'm trying to work on this trick, and he can put up a video or write some text saying, hey, this is kind of what you want to do, and we're all kind of a really close community all over the world, or all over the U.S. and really all over the world. Um, and then every now and then we kind of like to get together in real life, fit contests and things like that. Okay, cool. So um, there, are, there are regional, national, international competitions. Every country's got one. Every area's got one. Um, the few competitions that I've been to, pretty much, it's a bunch of people who enjoy yo-yoing, hanging out. Um, everyone spends the first while just kind of trading tricks, trying different yo-yos. Um, then when the competition starts, of course, everyone's focused on what's happening up front. But... It was basically everyone just competed in the five different styles. Like, there would be a champion for each style. Um, I'm assuming you know what the styles are. Right, but really, the, the contest atmosphere is really cool. I mean, it's competitive, but it, you know, oh my goodness, I broke my last string and I'm about to go on. The guy that just went on before me, I can ask him and he'll be like, yeah, sure, have a string. Oh my goodness, you know, I broke my yo-yo. Yeah, sure, have a yo-yo. Or he'll show you a trick he just did in his freestyle so that you can take it up and do it up there too. So it's it's really friendly and really uh, a close group. So yeah, oh yeah, yo-yo is definitely a, a group hey, come help me, hey, you know, I'll show you stuff. And really there's no, like, all-stars, oh my goodness, you're so amazing, ah, you know, kind of things. It's just... And actually my cousin Isaac was the youngest competitor to be there last year. And this year he was, like, the second youngest or third youngest. Because most of the guys competing were 17, 
20 years old. Things. It's just, we're all yo-yoers, and whether it's the guy that's been yo-yoing for 20 plus years, and he's sponsored on a team, and he's got his own signature line of yo-yos, and runs a company or whatever, I can walk up to him and just be like, hey dude, how's it going? And it's just a cool atmosphere. Mm -hmm.